Hello and welcome to Mission More Money. Thank you for clicking on my channel. My goal here is as I learn with my online business, I want to share with you what I learn as I go. So this is my first order and I'm going to show you how to access Shippo. So you'll go down to apps and then if you have already had it installed, it should just pop up right here where you can then go and log in. I personally like Shippo in comparison to some other shipping platforms out there because I like their discounts. I like that you can create a free account with them and they also support international shipping. As you can see, my order from Shopify is automatically uploaded here. So I just clicked on view order. If you have ever taken any kind of a shipment to the post office before or to FedEx or your UPS, you will probably notice that a lot of these same questions apply here, except you get to do it with discounts and in the comfort of your own home. Over on the right hand side underneath rates, it has what the customer selected. In this case, the customer selected ground advantage and paid $9.24. So after all of this is filled in on the left hand side under package, that rate will calculate with different servicers of shipments. I'm quickly going to input the length, width, and height of the box that the shipment will be sent out in. And then the package weight is already included because I had the package weight included on Shopify. None of the boxes apply to my shipment, so I will go ahead and click on save and then rates will be calculated across different shipment services. Sorry about that in your face sticker. I'm just trying to keep the customer's information private. So but you know, it's also a good reminder, go ahead and click subscribe. As you can see, different rates have been calculated, so you can just scroll down through here and it will give you different rates as well as different shipment times and different shipment servicers. So they generally will recommend UPS, USPS, and FedEx, and then for international shipments, there are popular servicers like DHL. And of course, they have the breakdown between best, cheapest, and most popular. So up here, I'm not going to require a signature, but it is something that I generally will suggest because this helps to prevent fraudulent chargebacks. So I would say that if an order is worth $100 or more, or depending on whatever your budget is and how established your business is, um, that is something that you should consider. As promised, short and simple tutorial, you will then just click buy, add your payment information, and a shipping label will be created. I hope this was helpful for you and please let me know in the comments if you would like any other shipping tutorials.